today we will be talking about circular permutation. Permutation circle is called circular permutation. The question is, why is there a need for us to have a different permutation if every data arrangement is in circular form? Here is the explanation. We are asked to determine the number of arrangements can the three individuals be seated in a round table. So if we are to visualize the problem or using the listing process, so we can have the arrangement from 1 to then 3, so the counterclockwise arrangement, the clockwise rather. We can also have 1, 3, 2, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3, 1, 3, 1, 2, or 3, 2, 1. So we might be thinking that we do have here six unique arrangements. But if we're going to analyze each arrangement, it is not really six unique arrangements. So if we're going to look at the first arrangement, one, two, three, so let us use one as our point of reference. What is on the right side of one is three, while on the left side of one is two. On the next arrangement here, what is on the left side of one is three, while on the right side is 2. So this is a unique arrangement. So this is different from this one. So we do have now two distinct arrangements. Let us go on to the third one. Again, let us use one as our point of reference. On the right side of 1 is the number 2, while on the left side of number 1 is the number 3, which is the same as our second arrangement here. So therefore, this is not a unique arrangement because this is the same as this one. Let's have the next one. Again, let us use one as our point of reference. On the left side of one, we do have two, while on the right side of one, we do have three. So this is no unique arrangement as well, or a different arrangement, since this is the same as our pairs arrangement. So this is not a distinct arrangement. On the next one, again, one is our point of reference. On the left side of 1, it is 2, while on the right side of 1, it is 3. So upon looking, so it is the same as the first arrangement that we got as well. So therefore, this is not also a different arrangement. On the last one, using 1 as our point of reference, what is on the left side of 1 is 3, and while on the right side is 2. So which is the same, as our second arrangement. So meaning, this is not also a different arrangement or a distinct arrangement. So upon counting the number of possible arrangements that we can really make out of these three individuals seated in the round table, it's just only two. So there will just only be two distinct or unique ways of seating these three individuals. So that is the reason why we do have a different permutation whenever that we are dealing with circular arrangement. So that's why if we're dealing with circular permutation or circular arrangement, we are to use the formula P equals quantity N minus 1 factorial. So of course, our N represents the number of elements present in the problem. So therefore, if we are to answer the same problem again, and since we are now aware of the formula under circular permutation, so we can, can now easily determine the possible arrangement. So again, we must be able to obtain 2 because it is the number of arrangements that we had on our listing process. So here we do have P equals N minus 1 quantity factorial, replacing our N by number 3 since there are 3 individuals present on our problem. So making our equation, P equals 3 minus 1 quantity factorial, simplifying the terms inside the quantity. So 3 minus 1, the answer is 2, giving us 2 factorial. So, 2 factorial in expanded form means 2 times 1, and 2 times 1, the answer is 2. So, it is true that there are just only 2 unique arrangements out of these 3 individuals seated on a round table. Let's have another example. How many ways can the colors of the rainbow be placed on a color wheel? So, color wheel is in circular form, and we all know that there are seven unique colors in a rainbow, the Roy G beam. So, therefore, we are to use P equals N minus 1 quantity factorial. Since there are seven colors in a rainbow, so we're going to have seven 
minus 1 quantity factorial. Simplifying 7 minus 1, that gives us 6. So, 6 factorial. 6 factorial in expanded form means 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So, upon multiplying all of these numbers, so therefore, there are 720 ways for us to arrange all of the rainbows in a color wheel. Now, that there are elements or persons that are to be seated beside each other. So, one thing they are wanting to be beside each other. So, to be seated in circular form, we use a different formula. So, we're going to have P equals quantity N minus R factorial times R factorial. So, where in N means the number of those persons or elements present while R are the number of those people who wants to be seated beside each other. So, let us have this example. How many ways can a group of six friends be seated around a bonfire if four from them insist to sit beside each other? So, these four people wants to be beside each other. So, we will be using this formula suggested P equals N minus R quantity factorial times R factorial. So, N is the number of elements present. So, we do have six. Six friends. Six individuals. And out of these 6, there are 4 who wants to be beside each other. So, we're going to have here minus 4. And this R also becomes 4. Making our equation transform into P equals 6 minus 4 quantity factorial times 4 factorial. Simplifying 6 minus 4, so therefore we will have 2 factorial times 4 factorial. So, 2 factorial means 2. While 4 factorial means 24. So, 2 times 24, therefore, the answer to the problem is 48 weights. So, there are 48 ways for us to arrange these 6 friends and there are 4 who wants to sit beside each other. Now, there are cases that it is not they want to be seated beside each other. So, in case that there are elements or persons that use to be beside each other in a circular form so they doesn't want to be seated beside each other we use a different formula again so it will become now p equals n minus 1 quantity factorial minus n minus r quantity factorial times r factorial so it seems to be like the combination of the basic circular permutation and the permutation in terms of sitting beside each other so just simply finding the difference between those two so, for example, there are nine members of the board who are set to have a meeting. How many ways can they be seated around a table if two refuse to sit beside each other? So, these two individuals doesn't want to be beside each other. So, if that is the case or the scenario, so we are to use this formula. So, our n is the number of elements. So, in this case, we do have nine board members. So, 9 minus 1 quantity factorial. So, to be subtracted by n, again, our n is 9. So, minus r, r is the number of people who don't want to be beside each other or elements. So, our r is 2. Same as this one, so r is 2. So, rewriting our equation, so we will have 9 minus 1 quantity factorial minus 9 minus 2 quantity factorial times 2 factorial. So, simplifying the terms inside the quantities, so, 9 minus 1 is said to be 8 factorial, while 9 minus 2 is 7 factorial, so times 2 factorial. So, upon multiplying of all of this, or you may use your calculator, so therefore, this gives us the answer of 30,240 ways. So, so, this is the answer to this problem. So, this is how simple we use this formula in dealing with circular permutation. So, with the basic circular permutation, Circular permutation to where in there are people who wants to be seated beside each other or a permutation to where in there are people who doesn't want to be, to be seated beside each other. So, I do hope that you understand what circular permutation is all about. So, hope you learned something. See you next time.